My name is Michael. On the YouTube, I am the Garden Nerd, because I nerd out about this stuff. Um, so before everybody gets here, I just want to talk about, I love talking about the basics with the kids. So if you kids, you can kind of come up here closer. I'll ask you some questions, okay? Because this is school, right? You all are homeschooled, so I might ask you some questions. Okay, so there are three things that all plants need to be able to grow. Three things. Raise your hand if you think you know what one of those things are. Water. Water, yes. Okay, what's another one? Soil. Soil, yes. There's one more right there. Dirt. What'd you say? Sun. Sun, yes. Those are the three things, okay? They need sun, they need water, and they need soil. Okay, so let's talk about sun. You guys, like Abe said, you're going to put your seeds in here, and then you're gonna go home, and you'll probably find a spot in your yard where you wanna plant it. But you can't just say, oh, that looks like a good spot, let me plant it there. You have to make sure that it gets enough sun, okay? Because there's some parts in your house where the house is gonna block the sun, and you'll probably never get any sun there. And if your plant doesn't get any sun, is it gonna grow? No. It's not gonna grow. So you're gonna go through all this work, you're gonna get your hands dirty, you're gonna plant the seeds, and nothing is going to happen. So before you decide where you're gonna plant it, you need to go outside. Today's not a good day because it's cloudy, but you need to go outside and you need to watch where the sun travels all day long to make sure that it gets enough sun. So I know that there are different seeds. You'll probably want to do a little bit of research to find out how much sun your plant needs to be able to grow. Most plants are gonna need at least four to six hours of sun, okay? So that's the first thing, make sure it gets enough sun. Okay, let's talk about the second thing. This one is really important. The second thing they need to grow is water, okay? Let's talk about water. So let's say, what's your name? Jace. Jace. Jace, if you're thirsty and I say, okay, come over here and I get the hose and I just spray you, are you still gonna be thirsty after I spray you? Yeah. You are, right? Why are you still gonna be thirsty? Because no, I'm not drinking it. Because you didn't actually drink it, right? Yeah. So that's the mistake that a lot of people make. They think they can plant something, a tree, a vegetable, whatever, and then they think they can just go out and spray it for 30 seconds each day, and it's gonna be good. That is not true, okay? How do plants drink? Does anybody know? We drink by putting water in our mouth. How do plants drink? They soak them up with their roots. With their roots, yes. So they soak up the water with their roots. And where are plant roots? Are they on top of the ground? No, under. They're under. Under the ground. So how do you think we should water plants? We know we shouldn't spray them. No, we should like put the water in the dirt. In the dirt, yes. So we should make sure that when we water, the water is going down into the ground, as deep as we can into the ground, because that's where the roots are, okay? And also we live in Arizona. In the summer, is it hot? Yes. It is hot. And if the roots are at the top of the ground, do you think they're gonna get hot too? They are. So we want to water really deep into the ground so that the roots can go deep into the ground. Okay? So that's the second thing. We now know they need sun. We know they need water. And now let's talk about the soil. Okay? Sometimes we say dirt. Sometimes we say soil. Do you know what the difference is? <laughs> he wants to answer a lot. I don't know if he, if he knows. <laughs> Do you know what the difference is between dirt and soil? Soil has living things in it. Right? So, who knows? This is school, so let's see who knows. How many people live on the earth? Does anybody know how many people are on earth? More than 100, do you know? 29. More than 29, do you know? About 9 million. Okay, even more than that. There are about 7 or 8 billion people on the earth, okay? But, did you know if I take a spoon, you know a spoon you eat your cereal with? If I took that spoon and dug into soil and just got a spoonful of soil, do you know how many living things are in that spoonful of soil? Let's say there's seven billion people on the earth. On that one spoonful of soil, there are 50 billion, 50 billion living things just in that one spoonful of soil, okay? And that's the most important thing when it comes to growing plants. We have to make sure that our soil is alive. Who knows why it's important to make sure our soil is alive? We want it to grow, yes? If it's not alive, it will grow. If it's not alive, it won't grow. So yes, so did you know that the living things are the things that actually provide the nutrients for the plant to grow, okay? How do we get 
the living things things to eat through plants through you know when the leaves fall on the ground guess what the living things in the soil eat those things when we put good fertilizer down the living things they eat those things and this might be a little gross but after they eat the leaves and the stuff that fall on the ground you know what they do they poop it out <laughs> it's kind of gross right but guess what the plants don't think it's gross the plants love it that's the nutrients that the plants eat they eat all the you know like earthworms and stuff when you're digging in the soil and there's worms and stuff the worms poop they eat that stuff and they poop it out and then the plants love it and the plants grow okay so that's at a very basic level three things that you all need to remember make sure it gets enough sun make sure it gets good water which is not just spraying it make sure the water gets in the ground and then three making sure that you give it good soil okay one thing i'll tell you do you guys know like when the when the pest control man comes and he sprays all around your house that's okay because we don't want bugs in our house but we don't want to spray that stuff near our plants because that stuff kills all the living things and if there's no living things there to poop out all the good stuff for our plants they're not going to grow okay so those are the three things water sun and soil so we're going to fill up these things there's six six holes here right that means you can plant six different seeds so you'll fill it up you'll leave maybe just a little bit at the top so we're going to put one seed in every single hole okay how deep do you plant it you plant it as deep as the seed is so i'm going to open this we don't want to plant it too far into the soil yeah, you can probably use these. yeah there you go because if it's too far into the soil it's not going to get sun and plants need sun to grow right so we don't want to plant it too far into the soil so this is very hard to see can everyone see this seed this is the watermelon seed okay so do you see how big this watermelon seed is it's that thick so we want to plant it this much under the ground right so just a little bit under the soil just a tiny bit and then we just kind of smooth it over we don't want to pat it too hard because if we pat it too hard then it's compacted and then it can't start growing out so we just kind of smooth over the soil and we're good now you don't have there's no water here so you can take it over to the drinking fountain but that that might get dirty that might get messy so you can wait until you get home and then when you get home we just need to water this a little bit okay we don't want to soak it too much because if we put too much water in it then the water is going to pull in here and then the seed will float to the top it might even flow out of it and then it won't be able to grow so we just want to give it a little bit of water at first and for the first week parents you can all remember this for the first week or two you want to give it just a little bit of water each day not too much we don't want the water pulling after about one to two weeks you'll start to see little green things start coming out okay and then once it gets once you see it start growing out wait about another two weeks and then at that point you can take it out and put it into the ground or put it into your garden bed but you want to make sure that it has enough growth first because the roots will start to grow and they'll take over the soil and they'll hold the soil all together if there's not enough root growth then when you try to pull it out it will just all crumble so it's okay if you wait a couple weeks for it to take root and to hold all the soil together okay and then at that point that's where you just want to put it into the ground where it gets good sun where you can water it properly and where there's good soil and it will take off from there each plant is different so what i said you know there's still a lot of factors in terms of how much sun it needs how much water it needs you'll want to go home and do some research if you want to look at my youtube channel i talk a lot about how to grow all these different things but i would say don't just pick watermelon seeds and do six watermelon right pick some pick some variety it looks like Abe has a lot of good variety here um he has watermelon watermelon vines get huge so if you're going to do watermelon you probably only need one it'll get huge it'll spread out watermelon needs full sun cantaloupe as well gets huge but it needs a little bit more shade um sunflowers are great i would say it's always good to add in some flowers to your garden because flowers bring in pollinators like bees and stuff that will help pollinate your watermelon and other things so that you can grow more more food okay all right so let's yes 
Um, yeah. They all have to make beds and give them ground. Does the ground in Arizona make a difference, or do you find them in a pot, or what's the difference? Yeah, good question. Great question. Good question. So with watermelon, the reason I love watermelon, they will go in our soil and grow just fine. They'll grow like a week. Um, and once it's established, you literally can deep water it once a week, and you'll be just fine. It'll grow like crazy. Um, other things here, cantaloupe is the same. Um, cantaloupe and watermelon you want to put in the ground just because they spread out so much. Mint, it looks like he has here. Mint can stay in a pot and do just fine. Um, onion can stay in a pot and do fine. Sunflower, you probably want to put in the ground, but it, it'll do okay in a pot. But I would say ground is preferable. Um, cucumber spreads out as well, so I put that in the ground and it would do just fine. Corn. You could grow corn in pots just fine. <laughs> um, but you're only gonna have like one stock, right? And then you need another pot. But it does just fine in the ground. If you have the space, I would do it in the ground. Uh, what else do we have? Carrots, you can do in pots just fine. Uh, onion, you can do in pots. So I think that covers everything. We'll set up at these stations just to make sure that dirt doesn't... Yeah, make sure, you know, we all got kids, right? Corn, okay. You want a corn bud? Corn? Watermelon? Okay, here's a corn for you. You want a corn? There you go. You want corn? Here, I'm gonna put it in your hand. I'll let you plant it.